and we will test it one more time and see if they're good or they wonderful or they unbelievably good or they fantastic. Let's see. Mm. It's good. It's wonderful. Actually, it's really good. <laughs> Hi, my name is Noxon Taranon. I'm the chef owner of Kalaya Thai restaurant from Philadelphia. We are going to make masaman curry together. This is the, my mother's favorite recipe. She is known for this beautiful curry. The store-bought masaman curry is as good as house-made curry paste, so you don't have to, you know, sort through the other part of the world or taking YouTube lesson to make curry paste. Go to favorite grocery store, grab one curry paste, masaman, and that's it, call it a day. When I make masaman curry, I would rather use coconut cream than coconut milk. And coconut cream normally come in the box. When you open the box, cut the box open, it's solidified. Do not panic, don't throw it away. Put them in microwave or add them a little bit, you know, over the warm it up a little bit, you'll be fine. So my coconut milk start boiling. I'm going to reduce it down until it's very thick. It's very important when you make curry, the first step is be patient. So just keep stirring. It takes about 10-15 minutes. As a child, I helped my mother make curry paste and help her selling curry paste and all the staple, you know, pantry staple product like curry paste, trim paste, sugar, garlic, shallot. That's you know what I what I did when I was young. When it's thick enough, it means we can add our curry paste. This room going to fill with the aroma. Low the heat to medium and try to break this curry paste down. And don't worry if it's a little lumpy because it's all going to break apart very soon. Next step, you're going to add shrimp paste, palm sugar, and once everything is in, we're gonna add a little of coconut cream, one at a time, and keep cooking. You can turn up the heat a little bit at this point. Ooh, we all gonna smell like curry today. So if you can see right now, the curry sauce and coconut milk start to break apart. This is what we want to see. Keep adding the coconut cream and try not to splash it over your beautiful dress. If you cannot get your hands on any coconut cream, which I understand, just use coconut milk and reduce it by half before you start cooking. So I opened the restaurant without thinking, without any expectation. After three months, we start having the lie outside the door. That's when I know that I'm in trouble. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I've been loved, I've been blessed, and I could not ask for better. Our curry sauce is simmering, and we are going to prepare the other ingredients. Onion is giving the sweet element and a little crunchy, and potato. So I'm gonna show you how to cut the onion. Just cut them in half and then another half. Just peel this guy real fast. Cutting vegetables is not rocket science. Don't overthinking. I'm gonna add all of this coconut cream and just bring this to boil. This is when the cinnamon go in. This is going to add aroma into our curry. This is how you can wow your friend when they come because they'll be like, oh my God, your house tastes like Thailand. So now our curry is rolling, boiling hot. Chicken in. Anytime you will, you're gonna add the next ingredients, make sure that you bring your curry up to boil before you add the next one. This is how my mother taught me. Okay, potato in. So it's very important that when we cook potato, after you bring the heat up to boil, you're gonna low it down to simmer right away because we want our potato to cook slow and low and happy. Look at this beautiful thing swimming in here. They're gorgeous. So now it's boiling hot. I'm going to add the next thing, onion. Okay, so now you see, because our curry sauce has been cooking until it's thickened, look how beautiful it is, how luscious it is. Now peanut. Once we have all these ingredients in together, I'm going to low it to low simmer and it's take about 25 to 30 minutes 
until your potato soft and chicken is cooked through and tender. I love russet potato or stew potato because the longer you cook, the better it gets. So believe it or not, it's been 25 minutes. I'm going to check the doneness of potato. Just pierce your paring knife or fork through the potato and it's just perfect. Then we're going to start season our curry. Couple pinch of black pepper and then we do sugar. Curry paste is salty by itself. That's why I add sugar first. Don't rush in to add salt. You will regret. It's almost perfect. A little more. And then next, this will be a pinch of salt. The reason we add the tamarind paste last because I want the flavor to be sweet, salty, and sour at the end. Mm, 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 mm. It's really good. A bit of fish sauce. And then tamarind paste. There we have it, our masaman curry. Now your whole house smells like my kitchen. We're gonna talk about the etiquette of eating Thai curry. You're not gonna dump the whole bowl of curry into the rice and just call it a day. You need to put the rice on one separate plate, curry into the, on the, in the bowl, a spoonful of curry on top of your rice. Chicken is tender, it's perfect. And the best way is to have everything in one tiny bite. It's amazing. You guys are amazing. Thanks for cooking with me. If you're interested in this recipe, which is wonderful recipe and fantastic curry, click the link below. And if you do miss me, come see me in Philadelphia. My name is Nok Suntaranon from Kalaya, Philadelphia. Thank you. Job, by the way. I know. <laughs> Very I know. natural. I figured you knew, but I just wanted to make uh, sure. I bought like this. Just kidding, no. My husband always teach me to be to be humble. So be humble. <laughs>